Greetings to you all. Welcome to our presentation of Constructing a Course Development Toolkit to Promote the Adoption of Affordable Course Materials in Open Pedagogy. My name is Brent Swearingen, and I'm the director of the Excelsior University Library. I'm going to start this presentation by giving some background and context for the new Excelsior University Library Course Development Toolkit. Established in 1971, Excelsior University is a private, nonprofit, online university serving mostly non-traditional learners. For many years, faculty and subject matter experts who were updating or developing courses could contact their library liaison for assistance with finding library and other course materials. These librarians were part of an external third-party library hired by Excelsior to provide library services. Many of the subject matter experts, or SMEs, hired by Excelsior to oversee individual course content creation were also external and sometimes had little familiarity with the library or open education. Consequently, much of the library's efforts in the course development process focused on locating potential course materials for SMEs, as well as constructing LibGuides and other aids. Over the past year, both Excelsior and the library have undergone some big shifts. An all new internal library team was hired at the same time, the course development process, which had also been coordinated by an outside vendor, moved in-house. Currently, new processes and timelines are being developed for instructional designers, subject matter experts, and others involved in course development. The library's role in the course development process is transitioning from an emphasis on finding resources to one more focused on training and equipping, while promoting an open-first mindset that centers on affordability and digital equity concerns for students. Meanwhile, there's also an increasing emphasis at Excelsior on more frequently utilizing pedagogical approaches that encourage more faculty-student interaction and engaging assignments. In response to this evolution, late last year, the library team decided to create the Course Development Toolkit. We have three major goals for the toolkit. First, we want to promote more SME and faculty collaboration with the library during the course development process. At an initial course development kickoff meeting with SMEs, a liaison librarian will provide an orientation to the toolkit, as well as an overview of services we offer throughout the development process. In that sense, the toolkit is intended to be a starting point for our collaborative efforts. Second, we want to equip course developers to find and use affordable course materials. All the tools needed for SMEs and faculty to find and link to library and open content are in the toolkit. And as you'll hear, we intend to continue implementing additional tools for utilizing open resources and courses. Third, we want to facilitate and promote open educational practices. To that end, we've created a growing collection of tips and templates for library and renewable assignments. Next, Maribel Castro will provide a tour of the toolkit. Thank you, Brent. My name is Maribel Castro, and I am the Electronic Resources Librarian. The Course Development Toolkit is designed to assist Excelsior University faculty and subject matter experts with finding learning materials and creating assignments as they develop or redesign courses. The contents of the toolkit can be accessed using the side navigation menu. Course Materials. In our effort to support college affordability and Z, school, and Z uh, course creation, the Excelsior University Library now subscribes to Faculty Select. It is a self-service platform that allows faculty to find and adopt an ebook or e-textbook to use as their course text. Faculty Select contains thousands of high-quality titles on a wide variety of academic subjects. All items in Faculty Select will be made available to Excelsior employees and our students completely free of cost. We embedded our one search box on this page so faculty and instructional designers can easily find the resources they need as they build and update their courses. Our Publication Finder is a state-of-the-art knowledge base search service for locating publications in our institution's collection regardless of publisher or provider. Searching by publication title is easy. You can search specifically for journals or books all at once or individually. The subject databases search box makes it easy to locate specific databases by clicking in the drop-down menu. 
Library databases can also be searched by content or source type, such as journal articles, ebooks, videos, news, market research, images, primary sources, and more. The library maintains just over 200 course and subject guides. You can use this specific search box to see which guides have been created for your subject matter. And to help find open education resources, we added a search box for OASIS, a discovery service for open education resources that searches open content from 115 different sources and contains over 450,000 records. Last year, our Permalinks FAQ page had just over 800 views. This indicated that we needed to provide more than just an FAQ for permalinks. So we built an accordion style drop down menu with embedded screenshots on how to find permalinks within our most popular databases. Renewable assignments. Open pedagogy is a form of experiential learning in which students demonstrate understanding through the act of creating content. The products created are often openly licensed so that they may live outside of the classroom and support others learning as OER. This page contains a wealth of information tools to help you transform your coursework, including a renewable assignments comparison chart created by Regina Seguin, our OER librarian. Library assignments can sometimes be challenging for our students due to terminology, for example. Qualifying the differences between library or web resources. To mitigate some of their confusion, we listed the useful tips and templates to help design effective library assignments. If faculty or subject matter experts would like to request the purchase of an ebook or like as, uh, assistance finding content for their course, they can quickly fill out the appropriate forms on this page. I will now turn it over to Melissa Chim to talk about partnership and advocacy. Thank you, Maribel. I'm Melissa Chim, the scholarly communications librarian. Today, I want to talk a little bit about how librarians can contribute to course design and how we can promote open education. As librarians, we can be key partners in the course development process. At Excelsior, we work with subject matter experts, faculty, and instructional designers in finding quality sources for students. Each member of the library team serves as a liaison to all the schools within Excelsior. Liaison librarians are knowledgeable about where to find information in different subject areas, such as high quality databases and journals. We're often the go-to source for faculty who need help in finding relevant and up-to-date material. These ready-made partnerships are an, are an excellent opportunity to introduce open education principles to faculty. We are strong advocates for open access sources, as shown in our toolkit. Textbook affordability is one of the most pressing issues facing students today. Many studies have shown that students who cannot afford a textbook risk low grades and low graduation rates. Adding open access materials to a course, however, guarantees that no student is without their textbook on the first day of class. Textbook affordability also relates to Excelsior's Justice, Equality, Diversity, and Inclusion, or JEDI, mission. Affordable textbooks allow for an even playing field among students and supports inclusivity. Open Educational Resources, or OER, which can be found through our toolkit, are both culturally relevant and accessible. We also encourage faculty to meet with us via one-on-one -on -one consultations whether they are new to open education or are OER champions. To recap, connecting with faculty early and often throughout the course development process is essential for promoting open education. Leveraging your existing relationships is also an open door to discussing how OER can benefit their courses. Thank you, and now I'll pass it on to Regina. Hi, I'm Regina Seguin, the Open Education Librarian, and I'm going to wrap us up by talking about how we plan to evaluate the project and our next steps. In terms of evaluation, we'll be looking at usage and stakeholder feedback. We'll be able to track our LibGuide statistics as a high-level indicator of usage. However, some better indicators of usage will be the interactions that result from the toolkit. For example, the number of material requests or requests for course development support coming through the request form. In the next few months, as we begin implementing the toolkit into the course development cycle, 
We'll be sharing it with instructional designers and faculty in different departments, and the feedback we collect from these meetings will be used to make any needed tweaks and improvements. The LibGuide is a perfect vehicle for this resource since it is a living document and we can always add to, update, or improve upon it as we respond to our institution's needs. For example, we currently use PermaCC to pre preserve online resources and prevent broken links. Education for faculty and SMEs around PermaCC would be a natural extension of the permalinks section of our toolkit. And we'd like to add more library assignment templates based on frequently asked student questions like narrowing your search or effective search strategies. Further down the road, we foresee adding additional sections to the toolkit, such as using AI in assignments, perhaps with its own set of assignment templates. We hope to expand the support around renewable assignments and open pedagogy. The goal of the assignment templates is to provide more structure and remove obstacles around how the assignment is going to work. There's more we'd like to do al along those lines. For example, currently we're linking to other institutions examples of student privacy and licensing agreements, but we've also drafted our own documents that will eventually live in the toolkit so that course designers can find something that's already Excelsior approved and plug it directly into the course. Moreover, the assignment templates we have now are reflective of the structures currently in place at Excelsior, but as we grow our capabilities, we envision adding and expanding on these. For example, we're in the process of building an institutional repository. Once that's up and running, we can add assignment templates that provide clear, actionable steps toward depositing student work in the repository, as well as links to the repository. Later, we'll add a publishing platform as well, and then we'll be able to offer assignment templates that have students creating anthologies and more. Ideally, we'll even have real examples of Excelsior assignments contributed by our own faculty. Finally, to sum up, the toolkit is meant to offer ways that the library can collaborate in course development, empower course developers to find and utilize affordable course materials, and facilitate and promote open pedagogical practices. This project is just getting underway. If you have a similar resource at your institution, we'd love for you to reach out and share your ideas. The toolkit is openly licensed under Creative Commons, and we hope that other institutions will be able to utilize and adapt it for your needs. We're looking forward to putting the toolkit into practice and sharing the results soon.